Hi everyone, it's your boy Ricky here for LDRS and today I'm going to be making a Halloween card used by some of the products that they so kindly sent over to me. We're going to be using uh, pieces of the stamp set of, called Trick or Treat along with the matching dies. We're going to be using some pieces of paper from their Halloween uh, paper set. And we're also going to be using a mini slimline card base here and also a die from my stash. Now I won't be stamping anything because I'm going to be using mostly all the paper for this card, but I did want to show you the stamp set that they did send and what it contains. The first thing we're going to do is cut out the first panel here out of the the Halloween card stock or the paper with the words on it. I guess I don't know how to really say that. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> anyway, what now we're going to do is cut out all these characters. We're going to fussy cut this out out of all the pieces of paper. And basically what I wanted to show you is you could make a card without having to use a stamp set. So if you don't have any stamps or dies, you could totally use a pack of paper and cut some items on your own. Um, again, you don't have to use a die to cut this paper, you could use a paper trimmer. So this is a simple card you can make that doesn't require any kind of stamps or dies if you don't have them. So what I'm doing now is just going ahead and cutting out uh, this piece of paper here and it's going to be a frame for the panel that has words on it. I'm not even sure if I'm saying that right, but anyway you can see what I'm doing now. The blue is going to be the frame and then I'm going to glue those together and then they're going to be framed by the card base. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and start getting this glued down, just making sure everything fits, everything is even because I can be horrible at getting things even. So I'm going to go ahead and use some glue here and cover the back of the panel to get that glued down onto the card base and that card base is I believe three and a half by six and a half I believe sorry I don't remember the measurements anyway it's a mini slimline usually they can go from three by six to a little bigger than that the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and use some 3m foam tape on the back of the panel that contains the words and we'll go ahead and remove the backing off of that and go ahead and get that placed onto the card base as well. Now once we have that down onto the card base, then what we're going to do is go ahead and get the sentiment stamped out. And basically I'm taking a piece of the blue paper here with a sentiment from the stamp set and I'm going to stamp that out, heat emboss it into some with some white embossing powder and go ahead and heat emboss that off camera. You're going to see me here. I'm going to dip it down into the paper, into the powder here, flick a couple pieces off, use a brush to get it taken off, and then we're going to go ahead and get that heated. Now that we have that heated, I'm going to go ahead and get this cut to the size that I want it to be to fit on the card. Sorry it gets a little blurry there because the camera is focusing on the lever of the of the cutter and not actually what's down near my hand so okay we have that cut out now it's time to go ahead and start putting everything together again this was a super simple card that you can make just with a paper pack a pair of scissors you don't even have to use 3m foam tape and if you wanted to you could not put a sentiment on this because it's obviously a halloween card or you could go through the paper pack and choose um, another piece of paper that might have a sentiment on it and just use that. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I truly appreciate it. I hope this easy card um, gave you an idea of what you can do even if you're not a stamper or a person that has dies and machines and all that great stuff. I also want to say thank you so much to LDRS for sending this over to me. I really appreciate it. And you guys, make sure that you head over to Instagram and their YouTube channel and check out all the good things that they have. And then you can also find me on Instagram by searching for Bromero Cards. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe and share it with all your friends. I would greatly appreciate it. And as we're closing here, I will talk with you guys later. I hope you have a great week. Bye.